Welcome to the KC Art Lounge here at iWorks in North Kansas City, where we talk about all things art and artists and cocktails, mocktails, and I don't know, spice tea or pumpkin lattes this time of year. So the reason we started this uh, podcast or this series of interviews is for you to get a chance to become acquainted with some of the artists. I just think that in order to really have fun with art, you need to know something about the artist and the process and just kind of become uh, friends, acquainted with artists. So tonight we're visiting with Chris Lozinski. Chris has been a around a while doing this and doing all sorts of other things, so I'm really excited about this conversation. Um, typically we start out with where were you as a kid? Where were you like when you were 12 years old? Um, probably out in the mud, playing in a <laughs> creek, looking for crawdads. You know, because uh, we lived we lived rurally growing up, uh, and then the city kind of grew up around us. Mm, yeah. You know, and it was in Leavenworth, and my dad was always uh, interested in cattle and horses, not on a big scale, but right. you know, to have one cow, one pig, one horse. <laughs> so we uh, so we got to see all the different uh, livestock, you know, and uh, and uh, he was actually he had his own auctioneering service, and he did livestock auctioneering and and um, you know other types of auctioneering so so we were kind of involved in that uh, you know that rural kind of uh, Kansas uh, feel of you know doing stuff fun but and yeah that and that isn't something that all kids know about now oh no no so we it's might yeah. have, someone might not even know which end of the horse is the which end that you pet <laughs> <laughs> well, they figured out this pretty, <laughs> they figured pretty, out pretty quick with pretty quickly so auctioneering I always thought did you ever want to do that uh, no we had to get up very early on Saturday and Sunday morning though to go help when he did auctions and state auctions and stuff yeah. like that because we'd either be uh, uh, serving the coffee and donuts or uh, clerking sure. writing, writing down the yeah. stuff so our uh, our weekend from school was uh, always the dreaded auction but we got paid so you know there, you there, was, there was always a silver lining when you you know but at that age you, you you wanted to sleep in it was the only day you had to sleep in yep because you got up early for school you know during the week so but uh, we had a lot of fun with it a lot of lot of lot of neat memories I always thought I wanted to be able to do that oh yeah yeah I mean and 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 to be able to keep track of it I know. I mean, that would be the hard part because there's somebody going like this, somebody's going like that, and you know, you got to keep bumping it and bumping it, and it's <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I'd be lost. I'd like, oh, whoever, whoever wants it, you got it, you know, just tell me who paid the highest price for it. Right, you know? and you never are just really sure, wait, do I have the bid? Am I bidding again? Am yeah. I? Yeah. Am I upping my own bid? Well, there'd be some people at the auctions that they would actually be bidding, and, and he would just hit them again. <laughs> They bid on it right in a row, you know, twice yeah. in a row. And they'd have the, such a confused look on their face like they didn't know what they were doing. It's yeah. like, you know, but, you know, we got a lot of neat stuff that, uh, you know, because everybody wants at an auction, they want to buy stuff for a quarter or a dollar yeah. or, you know, or everything like that. But um, I, I got some old flask, gunpowder flask from the early 1800s that were in the bottom of a box one time that nobody else wanted the box. And my dad bought it for a quarter. And these old, one of them's leather and one's made out of copper. Wow. And I saw them down at the Steamboat Arabia when they were uh, yeah. redoing mm -hmm. all the stuff down there. Mm -hmm. The same exact ones, except these look like they just came out of the catalog from the 1850s. Right. Because they hadn't been in, under mud yeah. and water. I don't know what, I still have them. I don't know what they're worth, but I know they're worth more than a quarter. I bet, yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So when did you figure out you were an artist? Or did... Oh, uh, I don't know if we ever figured that one out. But, um, <laughs> I've always liked I've always liked to draw, even as a kid. I've liked I've, I've always liked to draw, you know, and, and build stuff with rocks and and uh, you know just um, doodle. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, it's just one of those things that just uh, when it was more comfortable and I had more time and more money mm -hmm. because it's not cheap being an artist. No, it is uh, not. It is uh, not. Um, and uh, you know to buy supplies and paints and. And uh, it just uh, really became a passion then, about probably about 
as soon as I retired from the restaurant business. Really? Yeah. So all that time, high school, college, whatever, you didn't do any, you weren't thinking art? I, I would do art, but it wouldn't be like sitting down and doing something like Right, this. right. It would be, you know, doing a drawing, a pen drawing or right. a pencil drawing, but never getting involved with, uh, you know, blending the different paints and stuff like First of all, I just didn't have time. Well, you know, I just know. didn't have time to do it. Or, or if uh, when I did find time to do it, I pencil drawing. And a lot of times it was just to take out frustration. Yeah. You know, from, from being in the restaurant. But you got, yep. you know, you got 60 people that are like, oh, oh, I think I'll just go up to my office, close the door, grab a glass of whiskey, and draw for a little bit. You Isn't know, that and, interesting how we all thought? Mine was music. Mine was yeah. playing. Well, and you're also a musician. Yeah. Yeah. So you know how that. Oh yeah. You just didn't have a grand piano in your office. No, I had one down at the down in the restaurant. I had one at the house, and and uh, and uh, you're you're right, exactly right. I mean, it it would be, uh, you know, times you get home from work and you just find yourself uh, stressed out. You couldn't sleep. Right. You know, you just left a hundred mile per hour restaurant, and you still got fifty things on your mind, and you go, what do I what do I do now? and you go and sit behind the piano and it's just the therapy mm -hmm. of, you know, I'm just going to sit here and play. And then you look up the next thing in the morning, it's two o'clock in the morning and you go, I'm, I'm sleepy now. I yep. got to sleep now. You know? Thank goodness. Um, so you did have a couple of restaurants in. Yeah. Leavenworth and Lansing, Kansas. Yeah. Yeah. And you, uh, for, for 20, for about 20 years and, um, you know, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> you just get up one easy morning say, and say I'm easy done? to say easy to say now or uh, actually one one of them I one of them I, I sold to a friend I still don't know if they're my friend or not but uh, <laughs> but uh, the other one uh, I, I I had a business partner and we just looked at each other and said have we had enough fun and we closed the door one Saturday night and then the uh, the next uh, week in the paper was. Uh, across the headline of the paper was restaurant mysteriously closes you know <laughs> yes <laughs> but if you've ever been in the restaurant business there's no mystery why you're yeah, closing you know just, either you're out of business or you just you're done you're burned out yeah you're yeah. done you washed up you know you you said enough enough babysitting and whatever you know else else goes with the uh, you know the different hats you got to wear yep and you just say you know uh, if we don't quit now it'll quit us yeah you know so then you retired from that business and then you went home and said, huh, guess I'll paint. I guess I'll just paint for a while. Yeah. That's yeah. really kind of what happened? Well, I, I, I wanted something that I would get rich doing. Oh, dear you me. <laughs> How's that going? I'll let you know when it happens. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be really fun. It's no, I, I just, uh, I, I always, like I said, Jan, I always had the interest in painting, just, you know, doodling and, you know, having that, creative uh, thought process in my mind. I always just uh, uh, love to paint or I love to look at other people's mm -hmm, paintings and mm -hmm. stuff. And I just thought, yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. I just, I, I just really liked, I just really liked, you know, the idea of, of uh, being an artist. You know, just yeah. when, when somebody says, what do you do? And you go, I'm an artist, you know, instead of, I'm an artist. I know, I always say to people, we've got to say it loud and yeah. proud. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm an, an artist, artist, you know, and you know, or, or you know, uh, some people say, well, "What are you doing?" I go, "I'm a painter," and they go, "Oh, uh, you paint houses," <laughs> and it's like, "No, no, I'm a painter," you know. So you got to explain yourself, right? So it's just easier to say you're an artist, and then they get to the thirty questions about what kind of art you yeah. do. But uh, uh, it's it's easier now with the internet because you can just say, "Go to my website," or sure. "Go to Facebook," or sure. you know, you can see it instead of having to explain it right. uh, to somebody that's just trying to make casual conversation yep. anyway sometimes yep. you know well let's talk about this piece so where sure. this is stunning and well, I, thank you I, thank you you know whatever you do to get close and see this it is just beautiful I'm thinking this isn't the first thing you painted when you said I, I'm gonna be an artist no this came along uh, uh, I can't even remember what year I did this I'm sure I have a, a date on it but uh, uh, it's probably it's probably three or four years ago and uh, it just, um, my, my paintings kind of evolved from the back to the front okay. uh, for the ones that evolved that way. 
some of them evolved from the front to the back. All right. And then yeah, some okay. of them evolved from the center to the, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and so there's, so there's, uh, you kind of, you kind of come up with li different little ways that, you know, tricks of the trade, so to speak, right. that you, uh, but this one evolved from the front, from the back to the front with the sky and then the, uh, and, um, and I take pictures of them as I do them to show a progression of them. So you can see that this tree line was, was basically just dark green before all this stuff gets added in. But, but what's, uh, what's the time consuming part for me is I'm just working with my imagination. So it has to come to me as it comes to me. Okay. You know, I don't have any reference All right. photo from nature like, okay, there's where the tree goes or, right. this, or this is where this fallen tree goes and, mm -hmm. and there's four more trees here. So, you know, you don't have to be exact, but you kind of got a, a mm -hmm. little, a little uh, template to work with. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, uh, in a way it's, uh, oh, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's more interesting to do them when you can make your own forest, but mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, I have done paintings before for people that, that they wanted a certain scene. Mm -hmm. And they really go quick because it's already been painted. Okay. Somebody's yeah. already, somebody's, the image is already there. Yep. Like if I went to go paint this again, it would probably take me one third of the amount of time. Sure. Of because I know where everything's mm -hmm. at now. You know, where everything goes. You know, I don't have to de decide, okay, this reflection or this shadow is going to come off this tree trunk here. And, uh, so it's it's uh, when I when I really set the uh, the uh, brush to the canvas, I don't really have any preconceived notion mm -hmm. of where it's going to go uh, until it gets there. the 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 creek might be uh, trial and error for ten or eleven ten or eleven different times of painting it blue and then it turns to green and then it turns to tan then it turns to let's extend the extend the, extend the rocks out further and stuff like that but um that's where i that's where i find the uh intrigue in it and the uh and the fun in it is to actually create something out of, out of nothing and and to try to give it a life of its own and regardless of the time it takes mm -hmm. uh you know a lot of people say they're never done. You know, you could always add one more little branch here. Sure. You could you could always be, right? You know, tickling them a little bit more. Uh, but to to get the basic structure and everything done, and then and then say, that's it. Let's go to let's go to the next one. Yeah. You know, let's go to the next one. And and a lot of people ask me, they go, well, what's your favorite painting? And it's always the one I'm working on. Sure. You know, that because makes... that's that's what's in my mind at the time. Of course. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Well, yeah. somebody was in, uh, one of the, our, our colleagues, our yeah. artist, was in the other day looking at this and just was blown away by the sky. Oh, so, thank you. And he really gets... Yeah, and, he, and, and you know, for sky. me, the sky is the easiest part. Huh. And, uh, you know, because it is changing constantly. Right. So you really can't go wrong with the sky. Yeah. You know, for anybody wanting to paint, put as much sky, put it all the way down to here. Because you can't go wrong because every time you look at it, it's going to be completely different. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, and uh, I think that the fun part about doing skies is, is that there is so much uh, artistic freedom in doing one. Yeah. You can have a cloudy day. You can have a sunny day. You can have right. a windy day. You can have a uh, partly cloudy day. You know, you can have a winter day. So uh, where the trees, the trees, I mean, they, you know, you're going to get a little more um, in depth with the, uh, with 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 you know putting all the little separate oh my leaves golly, and, I know. And, just and, and then trying to trying to figure out how you want to you know make this look like this part of this tree up here uh, by using your darker shades and right. stuff like that but uh yeah i just i just i uh, that's my uh, escape is to actually just sit there and let it build itself to build the forest or you know build the city or you know uh build whatever it's, it's going to be at that time, just uh, go in there with a, uh, a blank slate and just, you know, kind of yep. go at it, you know. But you obviously have seen the results of erosion somewhere. Oh, I mean, sure. That, yeah. Oh, sure. From so going out in nature and, yeah. you know, growing up, growing up uh, in farms and, <coughs> you know, going out in creeks and stuff when you're little. Yeah. I guess we call them creeks. Yeah. They're cricks. Cricks. But, you know, and... Uh, so, every, you know, everybody really basically <laughs> can see it, what's going on. Uh, and 
really anybody can paint. I mean, it's just a matter of technique and and uh, just like a lot of my artist friends say, it's practice, practice, practice. Yep. You know, practice, practice, practice. Once you do a uh, you know a, a, a creek bed eroding, then the next one's easy. Sure. You know, if you want to change the colors a little bit or change the colors of the trees or you know change the way the creek flows and stuff. So it's 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 just like anything else in life. It's practice, practice, practice. That's funny because who was it? Pablo Casals. Somebody said to him, "Why do you, you know, famous musician played forever? Why do you still practice?" He says, "Well, I think I'm getting better." Yeah, yeah. I think that's and that's and that's you know, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, I think it was Salvador Dali. It might, it might be this might be wrong. Says, uh, you know, every child's an artist until somebody tells them they're not. Right. So you know, and uh, and I think another one of his sayings was. Uh, don't be afraid of perfection. You'll never achieve it. Nope. nope. You know, and, and uh, so, so yeah, you just have to, you, you get to a certain point, at least I do, with a piece of work, and I say, I'm happy with it. I'm done with it. And varnish it. And let's start on the next one. Did you varnish this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's got a, it's got a, I, I use different sheens of varnish because there's so many different sheens of varnish. You can get, right. you know, you can get a, a full gloss, or you can get a semi-gloss, or you're getting a satin mm -hmm. or a matte finish. So depending on the uh, artwork, uh, but I always put it, and, and with the polyurethanes, the water-based polyurethanes, they're more of a sealer mm -hmm. and more of a, uh, to texturize the canvas, mm -hmm. you know, where, where you don't have that rough kind of chalky look to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. it'll, it'll actually change the tone of a painting when you put even a uh, even just a matte finish, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like putting a, you know, on, on a pair of shoes, you could you could polish them up, you right. know, shiny, or you could just put some some oil stuff on mm -hmm. them just to kind of preserve them. Mm -hmm. And that's what and that's what the the uh, the newer polyurethanes and stuff. And do. this you do acrylic. Uh, mostly, I work in acrylic. Yeah, occasionally I'll work in the water based oils because the water based oils are really easy to work with now because you don't have to have the mineral spirits. Plus you get the benefits of the oil paints with a longer drying time so you can push the paint longer. Right. But I've really uh, just love to paint in acrylic because it does dry so fast that, you know, once you have the idea and you set it to paint, you don't have to sit there and wait a week for right. it to dry. You can come back and, you know, and and, and the way I paint, I build on my, on my, on my, on my stuff. Like the trees are going to have three or four different colors of green. In sure. It. So they're built on, you know, the, 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 yeah. the back part is the dark part. And then it, it kind of just alters from there. So, uh, with an oil base, you'd be kind of stuck there waiting for stuff to dry. Yeah. Where with this, you can be right back at it in 20 minutes. So oil, water-based oil seems like an oxymoron. It me. is. It is. But they have it in, uh. They have it in uh, not only artist paints, but in your like your house paints for your hmm. wood trim. Yeah, and um, it it has a lot of the properties of the oil base, where it dries hard, um, it moves, and it gives you more uh, wet time. Right. You know, so you can so you can uh, manipulate it longer, uh, but you clean it up with water. With water. I love it. Yeah. Nick, yeah. can you help us flip out a a painting here? Okay, let's, can we hand this across to him? We're going to show you something that's a little different. And then could you, <laughs> it's a good thing you're tall, mm -hmm. hand us, um, how about that blues piano one? It's right there. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nick. Do you have the other side of it? Good. Got it. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. So this one is, if I give you a piano, will you play me some blues? No, if, if we give you the black keys, oh, will, will, you yeah. learn, will you learn the blues? Yep, yeah. That's, and as a musician, you get that. Yes, yes, and, it, and it's, kind of, it's kind of got a, uh, oh, a kind of a uh, delivering from the heavens, from the gods or the God or whoever, whatever you believe in. Right. Uh, you know, they had to give us the gift of music. You know, as monkeys, we didn't play music. So, <laughs> you know, they're bringing us, they've already given us the white keys, and they're bringing us down to black keys. But uh, 
what they're wanting us to learn is to play the blues. Yep. You know, which is such a soulful, uh, original uh, music. And uh, so we've made a deal with them that, yeah, we'll take the black keys and we'll learn the blues. Love it. Yeah. Love yeah. it. And you got the hand coming out of the, the house of blues and the house is on fire, you know. And you got a grand piano down here just kind of coming up with the smoke. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was just kind of a fun uh, way to... So much stuff in this. To kind of show appreciation for the blues and music and, uh, you know, and, and uh, my kind of uh, off-the-wall interpretation of it, you yeah. know. So tell us about your music career. Did, did you take lessons? Are you self-taught? I, 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 I studied music from the age of seven. Started playing piano from the age of seven. Uh, it was a way for my uh, parents. I come from a family of four brothers, okay. and we all started taking piano lessons all at the same age. Well, I was the second oldest, but uh, they thought that would be a good way to, to keep us out of trouble <laughs> because we would get in quite a bit of trouble. And so uh, I was the only one that stuck with it. What do you know? And uh, I stuck with it, and I and I I just really enjoyed it. And, um, and so I studied and I studied and I studied and I studied classical music, rock and roll music. And I like everything. Yeah. I like, I, you know, there's, there's not one thing I really can't say that I don't like right. in music because uh, if other people like it, then I usually like it because it's, you know, that's part of life, you know. And it's also part of that uh, camaraderie. Sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, just, you know, uh, um, when, when somebody want you to listen to something that's you know out of your wheelhouse mm -hmm. and uh, you know and I've seen so many people go oh I don't like that type of music well you know it just bursts their bubble yeah and at the same time it just kind of shows you're close-minded to you know you got to you got to see what's out there right you know There's it's so much. It's, it, it's constantly evolving you know it's only been around for uh, you know uh, even even the music that we have from the classics you know, right. from the Beethoven, right. Right. it's only been around for five, six hundred years. The planet's been here for what, three billion? Mm -hmm. And we're going, well, this is old music. <laughs> Not even. No, this is just a speck of a second. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. But it was just kind of, it was just kind of fun, just kind of uh, uh, letting it kind of uh, evolve itself into uh, um, kind of a uh, an homage to. Uh, to music, to, to the piano, to the jazz piano, the blues piano. And so perfect for Kansas City. Yes, with all the with all the yeah. history of the of the the jazz district and and uh, all the great musicians that are even here to this day. Where know? did you start this painting? Do you remember? Um, when or where? Where? Where in the paint did you? Did oh, you start? Um, what did you know when you sat down to paint? Like I know every painting, nothing, 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 nothing. no no pre no preconceived notion. Huh? Just. Uh, it was probably like everything else. It was the sky. Mm -hmm. It was the sky started out in the black, and um, and from there it probably. Uh, uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of one of those people that's kind of weird. I'll I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and uh, and I'll have an idea, and so I have to write it down because I won't remember it if I sure. don't. But but I'll take that idea, either write it down or go out and and pencil draw it onto a canvas. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get up in the middle of the night and paint. Uh, until they start paying me a lot of money, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, but I will I will take that idea and just uh, just kind of let it evolve, you know, just kind of kind of go with it. And uh, I'm sure this this kind of came into here, and then uh, and and then the uh, angels, you know, and and then I thought, oh well, that's that should be a keyboard. Oh my gosh! Oh, they should be giving us the keys. They should I be giving us the black it. keys. I love it. You know? I love it. I love it. So do you listen to music while you paint? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll listen to TV. Uh, sometimes I'll just listen to my brain. <laughs> it, it right. just, I, sometimes, I mean, it's, uh, uh, sometimes it's just nice with nothing. Yeah. Just the silence, you know, or having the windows open. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's, uh, uh, sometimes the TV can be distracting or sometimes it can be just what you need just to uh, um, kind of fill that, uh, you know, yep. when the thoughts start, uh, you know, oh, mm -hmm. there's, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. so it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, I don't really have a uh, preset thing 
on on what I'm going to listen to or what I'm going to have in the background going on. Um, and it, it, you know, it, it's like any, sometimes you get up and turn it off. Sometimes you get to turn it on. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you'll uh, sit here and paint for five hours. Sometimes you'll paint for a half an hour and you go, there's nothing there. Yep. You know, there's, there's I can't do anything, you know, and, and if there's nothing there, you're just wasting time because you're going to go back and yeah. paint over it anyway. So yeah. let's, um, let's switch out that one more painting. Sure. That's a whole different style. Here we have it. Not oh, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a, an abstract, don't we? Yes. I guess that's what that they're calling it these days, huh? Abstract or non-objective. Yeah. And you call it a, min, a manipulation. Mm hmm Yep. It all works. Thanks. So here we go, whole different, whole different things. Holy Shiny. moly, I painted that? You did that. Wow. I'm going to put this up a little bit. I'm going to hold this and then tip it up so the glare is okay. on it for a minute. So people can really see what, what a delight this is. Shiny. I mean, you know, you were talking about different... Different glosses, glosses. of paint. Yeah, different, different types of uh, glosses on the paint. And... Um, Metallic paints, you know, you can get metallic paints now uh, that really put off nice reflections and stuff. Right. And, um, you know, there's really no uh, rhyme or reason for how you can combine these because a lot of these uh, pieces like this uh, are conceptual that they are going to be one of, a, one of a kind even in their texture of paint. Sure. And their delivery method of paint and their uh, uh, types of paint that you use in them. So you can, you can, you, there's no way you're gonna uh, ever copy this paint. Right, or uh, even recreate the. Yeah, it, it, and, and really not even get close mm -mm. because it's just, it's just too, uh, it's too fast and it's too uh, um, uh, impossible to figure out, you know, that the, the what's underneath this, what makes this, right. what makes that. Um, and I'll use I'll use uh, actually the white background is is a whole quart of paint, which you can usually paint a bathroom with a quart of paint. Yeah. So it goes on pretty thick, and uh, you get it pretty wet, and then you use all kinds of different paints and different uh, different tools. Uh, um, but they're kind of fun. They kind of go fast, and they just. Uh, uh, I used to do a lot of the, a lot more of these, but now that I uh, sold my house and I'm kind of uh, in between places in a studio right now they're kind of messy so yeah. so you, you you're gonna end up getting stuff on the floor but they go pretty fast so once you start on them you have to you have to be in the mindset of doing one of them and being done and being done yeah and being done even though you can still uh, and I like I said I call them manipulations you can still manipulate them three or four days later different things to them okay and and the mind's the limit on what you want to do. You know, if you want, how you want to manipulate. You might want to come in here with a, with a tool and do this stuff. And you might want to come in here later on with your finger and do something. Okay. So, so there's, uh, you, you're just taking your mind, your imagination, and just letting it go uh, as far as you can let it go without being put in a sane asylum. <laughs> And I and I know you know if you go to the Nelson and there are some paintings we're never supposed to touch, but I got to tell you this one, in my opinion, asks to be touched. Yeah, there are. I I think the ones uh, the ones with the texture on especially. Yes. Because you know you can see texture, but really with texture you want to feel texture. Right. You know it's like it's like a chair that's got you know the wicker on it, or it's like a right. you know a coat that's got the uh, the wool on it. You want to you want to you want to actually. You know, I, I want to feel that bird. Mm. Is that a bird or what is it? You know, uh, but you you just want to feel it. And uh, and uh, I've always I've always told people that that come over and looked at them. And when I do when I do have them hanging in the house, and I, I said, feel free to touch it. That's part of the experience. Yeah. That's part of the experience. You know, it's like a, it's like the uh, the big uh, uh, brass pig down at the plaza. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to touch its nose and right. rub its nose. Right. You know. So but yeah, I've done quite I've done quite a few, uh, and there isn't one that's even 
remotely close to looking like the other one. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, different, uh, it might be a black background, it might be a blue background, it might be a gray background. Uh, the colors and the movement in the paint are all different. And uh, the way you dry them, uh, a lot of the times these paints, um, since you are using so much paint and you're using so many different types of, like the, um, um, well, what am I, the metallic paints and mm -hmm. stuff like that, they will actually sit on top of the other paints. So when they dry, they'll actually, you'll have one solid line and as it dries, it'll crack. Huh. And you'll have a complete opening in that line and it's moved and it's shift. So uh, when you think you're done with the painting. And it's not finished. It's, it finishes itself, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. yeah, you can come back a day later and look at it and it's a completely different painting. Come back another day until it finally gets to where it's dry enough where it's not moving anymore. Yep. It moves and it manipulates itself. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I they're fun. I, I, I really uh, enjoy doing these uh, when I'm done with doing like a, right. one okay. of these tree paintings that, right. that just take me a, a month or so yeah. to, to do. And, and it's almost a decompression for me. Okay. Just, to, just to say, let's have some fun with paint. You know, let's 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 remember why you you got into painting. Why we were, yeah, why we were kids. So, is did you start with this? Is this meant to be an eye? Is it the, or is it just what is that? Is it an eye to you, Jan? Yeah. Then it's an eye. All right. Then yeah. what is it to you? Uh, it's an eye, but I don't know what the animal it is on. No. I mean it. Uh, this one I actually did a lot of them. I don't put my name mm -hmm. on them, mm -hmm. but this one I actually. And the reason I don't put my name on them is because I like to let people interpretate how they want to hang it. I what, noticed on what, the back it's... And what they see in it. Right. Because a lot of times, if we turn it this way, they might see something they want to see in it. And uh, yeah. so, uh, but this one I did, I did actually have a set thing that I thought this was, this is the way it should go. So I, uh, I did set this one like this, but... Um, yeah, there's, I mean, you talk about no preconceived notion. No. There's no pre preconceived notion even when you're done with it. Yeah. You know, uh, until you study it and then you, uh, uh, and then you get about 30 or 40 different people to study it and every one of them comes up with a different interpretation of it. Yeah. This, because this is Day of the Dead. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. It's kind of got that, kind of with that dark, that dark black, and that kind of something. And then the kind of square. Something oh, sneaking out from yeah. something sneaking out from me behind this uh, headdress mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. What uh, uh, what did somebody said they saw a uh, like a um, oh some type of um, fish, oh. like like one of these tropical fish, yeah, yeah. with all the different uh, you know uh, fins or what yeah. on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. One that you'd see way deep in the water that mm -hmm. you know you wouldn't see naturally, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're just they're just. Uh, they're just fun to do. I, I think uh, uh, I'd love I'd love to sometime have enough money to get a group of kids together and have the canvases and the paints and just set them down there and say, "Let's play. Yeah. Let's just play with this." I'm going to show you the technique of how I play, and I'll give you the basic idea of how I play with this, mm -hmm. and then let's see what you can play with. Let's see what you can make out of this. And then let's let's watch it tomorrow and the next day and see what it turns into. And and uh, I've done it with a few people and it just it really gets their interest. Oh, I'm sure. Into into wanting to paint, wanting to think. Yeah. You know, uh, even if it's not thinking mathematical problems or solving the world's problems, it's just thinking that oh, yeah, I like that color with that. And or, I did that and or, I came up with yeah, that. Yeah, or right or I turn the ceiling fan on and it dries different because it's drying quicker because the fan is the fan is blowing air on it or quicker or I'm or I'm using this gloss paint and this heavy base paint with this metallic paint and it and and when you when you uh, wipe across it it's it's coming up with a whole different transformation when it separates after you they they come together and then they separate because they don't mix like like yep. like oil and vinegar in a salad dressing yeah so you know it's it's, it's fun it's fun Way yeah. fun. Yeah. What a delight, Chris. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight oh, well, and chatting about me. all this. I appreciate this. it very what much. A, yeah. What fun. 
keep an eye out because we're going to be having some of Chris's works. In fact, some of them are hanging here right, well, not right now because they're right here, but they've been hanging in the gallery and we'll be doing some more, showing some more of his work. So keep an eye out for us. And Chris Lazinski, you just had some pieces at, at David Jones. At David you know, Jones, yeah. Also a great yeah. fun yeah. place to be. So um, we always talk about cocktails, mocktails. What are you gonna, no. Lime Ricky? Lime Ricky. Lime Ricky. Yeah, yeah. Just lime juice and simple syrup. And your, pick your poison. Yeah. You know, uh, gin or vodka or, or bourbon. And and uh, um, I've always kind of been a little bit of a whiskey drinker. Canadian blend, Crown Royal. Yeah. Uh, um, but I, like I said, I had two restaurants and bars. So I've sampled just about everything that's... Uh, been put on the shelf. I'm sure. What fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, or not. I don't know. Well, when you have I mean, when you have liquor salesmen bringing stuff in, sure. You know, you're drinking. You know, one day you're drinking whiskey, next day you're drinking tequila rose or something, or mm -hmm. Bailey's or something like that. And uh, so you were never you were never uh, felt like you were left out from <laughs> catching a buzz. No, nope. for sure not. <laughs> well, again, thanks and thanks everybody for hanging out with us. Uh, keep an eye on Jan Jensen artist website and Facebook page to know what's happening. Take care and see you next time. Thank you folks.